Okay, welcome everybody. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Jason Horlack, who will be speaking about probiotics and prebiotics at the summit. I'm really so excited to hear his lecture um, or his presentation at the summit. And for those of you who don't know Jason, he really truly doesn't need an introduction. He's quite well known here in Australia. But for those of you who don't know him, he has made he's done his PhD in the field of probiotic and functional digestive disorders, and he currently lectures at not one but two universities. Um, so, Jason, thank you so much for taking a, a few moments of your busy day to give us a little bit of a snippet of what you'll be talking about at the summit. Because prebiotic and probiotics, it's such a um, such a controversial field in the field of SIBO. So, I'm really looking forward to your talk. Yeah, it is. It is controversial and. I think partly because I was looking, I did my, my PhD looking at, at probiotics in functional gut disorders like, like IBS specifically. Um, I was pro perhaps familiar with the research of using probiotics in, in C to treat SIBO before I heard um, people say not, not to use it in SIBO. So for me, when I first heard not to use them, it was, it was a bit like, whoa, where'd that come from? Because I, I, I'd be familiar with those sort of case studies done in the uh, 80s and 90s, for example, with good results, which, which was the initial research that was done. So, so my, my brain perhaps approached in a slightly different different way because of where my, my background was at that that point in time. So, certainly, we're, we're going to be looking at what the research to date has, has shown, but also I'll be sharing some some case studies in terms of how how I use specific probiotic strains, and I think perhaps the issue might be about using the, the right strain for the task at hand, where, whereas just using any probiotic throwing in there may not always be efficacious and, and mm. could potentially be, be problematic. Um, and we'll certainly be looking at, at prebiotics as well, which which might be at this point in time perhaps more controversial because I think some of the, the, the area of the probiotics has, has changed somewhat in the last decade, mm. um, whereas I'll be looking at, at whether all prebiotics should be you know, blanketly not used in, in, in SIBO and whether there are some that actually could be efficacious and helpful. And I'll obviously be looking at some case studies from my own practice where I've used prebiotics successfully and, and I'll explain why I was using them and, and which ones specifically I was using. That's great. I think one of the the points of content, not contention, but one of the disagreements with, with probiotics really was just a theoretical one initially yeah. where it was basically not used to, on the SCD or specific carbohydrate diet as outlined by Elaine Gottschall who really yeah. preached against the use of bifidobacterium. And so I yeah. think, you know, the community sort of took that on and then started to experiment a little bit more. And then of course the theoretical contraindication because you're dealing with an overgrowth, should it be really used? But because there's so much research in IBS showing the unequivocal benefit of certain strains in the yeah. in IBS, I think there's this is where we really you know need to have the research and the the sort of the clinical anecdotal evidence as well as the research to really guide us a little bit more. So I think you're the perfect person to be talking to us about that. Um, and prebiotics, you know, since my conversations uh, with you and with Alison Seebecker, who will also, of course, be speaking, I've been experimenting a little bit more. So I think I need to fine tune it a bit more because I'm, um, I'm curious to see your case presentations. I think that will be really interesting. Have you come across, because you're also, you know, you created the probioticadvisor.com, yeah. which is a wonderful resource for anyone who hasn't tried it out. It's a uh, database of researched probiotic strains. Have you, um, which is really helpful, not just for SIBO, but for any, any condition really to see what's indicated. Have you come across any that are specifically helpful with, let's say, motility in terms of the migrating motor complex? Yeah, yeah. there certainly there are, there are strains, and those perhaps are the ones that I would, I would use most in, in SIBO. Mm. Patients, particularly um, methane predominant SIBO, where, where I mm. think you know, that that's the slow yeah. transit time is certainly the, the key issue there. Right. Um, and there are right. strains that have been shown to, to speed that up and that I have used successfully in, in practice. Yes. Excellent. Well, you'll have an hour and a half to blow us away with your brilliance. I'll try. So I, I really <laughs> look forward to it.